uh, weight transfer can cause a significant increase in the dynamic load in the drive tires, especially with mounted implements. So here actually we will uh, just consider one two wheel drive tractor. Okay. So where actually the distribution of weight is taking place between front wheel and uh, rear wheel. Uh, so improper distribution will cause uh, loss of uh, traction and uh, stability will be reduced. So it's very important to know how much weight is transferred uh, due to different type of uh, conditions like uh, uh, weight uh, on the rear uh, side of the tractor. So there is the mounted uh, on the three pointing wheels. So let's uh, start then. So basically uh, we will start using the case one where actually the tractor is at rest on level ground. So let's uh, st uh, start uh, uh, doing um, the drawing. So let's start A and B is the points where it contacts with the soil. Where RF and RR are the soil reactions uh, due to tractor weight. W is the weight of the tractor. Y is the wheel base. X is the horizontal distance of uh, CG from the rear axle of the tractor. Okay. So let's uh, then start uh, doing maths. Taking moment about A. So RF into Y. So let's take RF into Y. This one the distance. So from the A point that will be equal to W into XCG because this is their opposite in uh, direction. So they make like a couple. So you can say RF will be equal to W XCG by Y. And similarly taking moment out B. RR into Y will be equal to W into Y minus XCG. So this is the distance. So this is W. So from B point, so that will be RR will be equal to W into Y minus XCG by Y. So, so it's very clear. So the reactions can be find out when there is. So here actually there is no weight transfer. So basically weight will transfer when uh, it will be on the um, inclined surface and uh, let the uh, theta is the inclined surface. Okay. So and the tractor is climbing. So like uh, this way. So uh, here actually the wheel base is y axis is the horizontal uh, distance of uh, cg from rear axle and uh, y cg is the vertical distance of cg from the inclined surface. Uh, so theta is the angle. So here actually the important thing is the weight of the tractor has to be um, resolved into two components. There is the horizontal component of W sin theta and uh, uh, vertical component of W cos theta. So uh, now taking moment about A. So about A we can find out RF into Y. RF into Y is the distance with the wheel base plus W sin theta. W sin theta is this one because uh, all are uh, uh, about uh, uh, anticlockwise, so we are taking one side W sin theta into YCG. This is YCG is the distance from this ground to the uh, CG will be equal to W cos theta, that is the uh, opposite direction. So that will be W cos theta into XCG. So RF will be equal to W cos theta XCG minus W sin theta YCG by Y. Similarly, taking moment about B, so uh, RR into Y minus so minus uh, W cos theta sorry W sin theta into uh, YCG that should be equal to W cos theta in, uh, into Y minus XCG the distance so this one the distance okay so so this should go this side so it will be cross so RR will be equal to W cos theta Y minus XCG plus W sin theta into YCG by Y. So here actually if you compare here it is reducing in the front wheel and in the rear wheel it is increasing. Okay. So next uh, go to another case where actually the, at the rear side of the tractor or on the uh, three point linkage something is mounted. Okay. So let's uh, say it's a combined load of something like equipment or uh, some tank or something like that. So let the weight or uh, weight of the implement or straighting. So let's P. P is the total uh, load. So in, in uh, Newton or kilonewton, 
So it's, it, it can be taken from the mass of the or weight of the mass into uh, gravitational force. So other things are same. So y is the wheel base, xcg is the um, distance of uh, cg of tractor from rear axle. Then uh, x dash is the uh, cg distance from the rear axle horizontally and vertical cg distance of uh, this uh, combined weight is y dash. So now taking moment about a. So Rf into Y plus P into X days should be equal to weight of the tractor into XCG. So since these two are, uh, you can say, uh, anti-clockwise and uh, W uh, XCG is clockwise, so they are opposite side. So Rf will be find out W XCG minus P X by Y days. So it will be finally W XCG by Y minus P X days by Y. Similarly, taking moment about B, RR into Y. So you can say RR into Y the distance will be equal to W uh, weight into XCG, uh, sorry Y minus XCG. So this is the distance, so this distance plus P into X, X this plus Y, total distance. So that will be, then RR will be equal to P X, X this plus Y, Y, Y plus W into Y minus XCG. So now you can say the first uh, case, if you can compare, so these two are same, W XCG by Y, this is so uh, RF and RR. So here actually the additional, uh, here actually additional uh, weight is reduced. The additional weight is uh, just uh, added. So here actually in the rear axle the weight is added and front axle weight is transferred. Okay. So next going to the another case where actually the same weight or combined weight is there, but the tractor is on a inclined surface. So previous case it was on the uh, ground le level ground. So here actually it is on the inclined surface. So now the everything all the parameters are same. Y is the wheel base. XCG is the distance of uh, CG uh, horizontally and uh, YCG is the uh, vertical uh, CG of the tractor and uh, Y dash and X dash are same. Only the difference is this since the theta is the inclined angle, so the components, uh, the weight of the tractor and uh, weight due to the combined load of the implement or tank, there should be resolved into two components. So one is horizontal components P sin theta and uh, similarly for the tractor W sin theta and for uh, vertical components that will be P cos theta uh, for the combined weight and uh, tractor uh, component will be W cos theta. So these are the things. So once you resolve these things into this, so you can take the moment about A. So if you take the moment about A, P, P, RF into Y, so plus W sin theta into YCG, W sin theta is this one, into YCG is the distance from the ground to the CG, plus P sin theta, P sin theta is this one, and the distance from the ground is Y dash, plus P cos theta, uh, and since these all are uh, uh, opposite to the uh, uh, this load, so W cos theta, so W cos theta into XCG will be the other side. So from there, that actually you can find out the uh, RF. So RF will be this much, W cos theta into XCG minus W sin theta divided by Y. So you can put into it one side. Similarly, taking moment about V, you can find out RR into Y minus W sin theta into YCG. Similar way. So you can find out the RR will be equal to W cos theta into Y minus XCG plus W sin theta Y is CG. And similarly already you have done, so it's very easy, so you have to follow uh, these things, okay. So, so but basically RF and RR can be calculated. So next is, uh, uh, we can find out uh, the condition where actually the tractor is attached to an implement. So, which is uh, doing some tillage operation or something like that, where actually the real draft occurs. So, the previous two cases, there was no draft, only the load was there on the uh, rear or uh, three point linkage. So there is a mounted implement was there. But here actually, actual the tillage operation or draft is going. So, let us P the draft. So, it is a line of pull. So, line of pull is having a phi or uh, angle with the uh, inclined plane. So this is actually inclined plane, plane has to be taken as a reference line. And uh, the inclined plane is theta degree from the 
horizontal plane. So, okay. So now this uh, uh, line of pool has to be uh, resolved into two components. That is the horizontal component of the pool, which is the drawer pool, and P sin theta is the uh, vertical component. So this is two component, and uh, similarly the tractor uh, weight has to be uh, resolved into two components: W sin theta, W cos theta. Here theta, but this one is phi. Phi is the uh, uh, remember the phi is the angle uh, of a line of pool. Okay, line of pool and uh, horizontal. This this is the horizontal uh, plane for the tractor, so, and this is the line of pool. So this is phi. So basically, other things are same. Why the wheel base, XCG, YCG, and Y dash and X dash, everything is same. Similar condition to previous one. So now we just uh, if you take the moment about A and B, you can find out RR and RF. So only the uh, if you uh, just uh, make the component, then you can find out. So so I just put into this one. So if you consider the cases are same. So case uh, four in this case. Both are same. Only the difference between is in the in the case four there was only theta was there, but here is an additional component phi is there. Phi is the line of pull. So here actually both are similar. Only difference is instead of p cos theta and p sin theta, the which is replaced by just opposite p sin theta in case of p cos theta, uh, so p sin phi in case of p cos theta and p cos phi in, in, instead of p sin theta. So phi is the Angle of draft with the horizontal line. Okay, so therefore in the final equation it is similar little changes. So R F will be equal to W cos theta X C G minus W sin theta Y C G minus P cos phi Y des minus P sin phi X des. So divided by Y. So here you can say if you see the condition for uh, for so it is P sin theta. Here is P cos phi. We uh, in the it uh, and this was P cos theta. It is P sin phi. Similarly, R R will be similar. So if you can say these both are uh, similar, but only the difference is this one. If it was there in the first case also, but other things are same. Only the uh, signs are different. So in this case, it's deducted. It means it is addition is there. Okay. So this is weight transfer is taking place from the front wheel to rear wheel. Okay. So if you understand this, then you can uh, use it in uh, any condition. Okay. So now. Coming to the summarize summary of the uh, all the cases. First case, R F and R R are uh, no weight transfer is taking place because it's on the uh, static condition. Second one, when it's uh, on the uh, uh, on a inclined surface, so weight transfer is taking place. This is the weight transfer minus this is plus. So weight is transferring to the uh, rear axle. So next, uh, the case three. So here actually uh, there was some weight on the um, three point leakage, but uh, there was no uh, inclination. So this is the weight transfer P X S by Y, and which is transferring to the <coughs> rear axle. It is P X S plus Y by Y. Similarly, case, case four, this is the weight transfer W sin theta Y C G minus Y from the front axle to the rear axle, where it this was having a uh, inclined surface. Okay. So finally, for the uh, final equation for the weight transfer, for the uh, where actually there is a drawbar pool or line of pool is there. So where is a phi angle is there. So this is RF and this one is the. So remember, this is the weight transfer. So now we can see this is the weight transfer taking place from the front wheel to the weight transfer is doing a radiation of the weight is happening to the rear axle. So This is the called the weight transfer due to different conditions. So now we can find out the weight transfer, and the weight transfer is very important to find out the coefficient of traction. So, or you can say tractive coefficient also. So tractive coefficient is very important to find out. So, see dynamic weight on the rear wheel and front wheel. So next we will do one uh, problem. So example to. Uh, So understand this more about the weight transfer. Okay. So next uh, video you just watch it.